All right, so now you're looking directly into the west. There are your picnic tables, the wood for your fire. There's a fire pit. There is a privy outhouse out here that's always clean, ready for you to use. You see the dock on the other side. There's a little inlet that's protected from the wind so the kids can play. There's also a sandy beach underneath here so you can actually walk into the lake and not worry about getting yourself cut. And then as you look over here toward the east, you notice there is the body of the lake. Around this tip on the right hand side here is the dam for the south side of Lake Palestine. And again, as we scan to the left, you see there's another inlet over here that again has calm water so that you can do other types of paddle boats and floating without having to worry about the big waves of the lake hitting you. Again, back to the west, and there's your camping and picnic areas. This is a beach area that we're allowing to the grass and weeds and whatever to grow up so that it won't be so sandy but with the sandy base it's soft on your feet here's the boat ramp and again it's a fairly protected cove here so you're not having to launch into the deep water of the lake which is out here to the west as you look further into the inlet, there's another pier that allows you to launch from different levels for different size boats. There's plenty of level ground and plush grass so that you can put your tents out or you can bring your RVs. plenty of shade in the trees there's a double uh, uh, a double tiered pier for different sized boats and again now we're looking back out to the wet to the east so that you can see the main body of the lake back across to where you see our fire pit the picnic areas and yet another area where you can camp out and yes this is the privy and it's always kept clean guys give me a call I'm more than welcome to have you guys come on out and enjoy yourselves out here at Lake Palestine